So, I've had quite a lot of interest about the Tetris cartridges that are having the, uh, the horrible bubbling that's going on all over the plastic. Now, I don't really know exactly what it could be. Some people are saying it's humidity and temperature change and all that sort of stuff, but it's actually really cold up there at the moment, um, and it's not really getting hot up there. It's just, it's just, a, uh, it's just a bit cold, to be honest. There's fresh air. Um, I did have a condensation issue, but as I said, I put some vents in and that sorted it out. However... I have a theory. So before my motorbike got stolen, I kept it in the living room because it was horrible outside and I wanted to keep it inside, keep it all nice and safe. But it's a 1977 motorbike and all of the seals on the carb had gone. I was waiting for a rebuild kit to come down so that I could rebuild the carb as it was just leaking exhaust, not exhaust fumes, sorry, petrol fumes all over the living room. And obviously me and Freya are sleeping in this house and it's unpleasant. So I decided what I'd do is empty all of the petrol into a container and take it down to the petrol station and just dump it in their dump thing. Um, however, I did that in the living room like an idiot and all of the petrol fumes just filled the house. We had to open all the windows and leave the house for several hours because it was just absolutely horrible. Do you think that has something to do with this? And why is it that it's just this version of the cartridge and not ones like this one because this this cartridge here is absolutely perfectly fine like there's there's absolutely not a single mark on it anywhere so why i don't i don't know why exactly it's done on these ones all i can say is the tetris minuet cartridges were the earliest version of the um of the game boy cartridges that were available that's why some of these other ones have also gone a little bit bubbly um i reckon it could be something to do with that some people wanted to see the inside of the cartridge so let me go ahead and show you that now the motherboard itself is absolutely fine there is nothing on here which is an issue yet now the reason i say yet is because well <sighs> Look at this. You're not going to really be able to see that very well. But it has a small amount of a sort of a shimmer on it. If I pick up this cartridge, you can see where my thumb mark was before. Can you see that there? What is that? <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, show you on the lid. Can you see that? It's odorless. Like it doesn't smell of anything, but it is some sort of a something. Uh, that is for sure. Luckily, all of my expensive Game Boys and consoles are down here. Uh, oh, actually, that is a good thing for us to test. Let me have a look at this uh, Tetris Minuet that I have right here and see if this one has gone bubbly really hoping it hasn't because this one is what's called the big box variant uh, which is obviously because it's in a bigger box uh, i will explain that in another video at some point but let me quickly have a look and see if this one died as well let's hope not okay here we go okay there we go looks okay from the front you can see there 23 that is a minuet copy and looks fine from the back too so it does seem to just be where it's gone up into the loft which is a really good sign that it is not going to have affected anything uh, down on this lower level um, which is good because there's a lot of more stuff up there worth uh, less sorry there's a lot more stuff down here that's worth more than up there so that could have been catastrophic but yeah Seems to have just been isolated to these games. Um, it could be something else, but I got these down probably a few weeks ago, and I definitely didn't notice anything like this at all. And the weather hasn't changed much in a few weeks, but I did have a petrol-leaking motorbike in my house for a week. So, yeah, I reckon it's probably something to do with that. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm now going to go through and clean up all of these. This has been unpleasant, um, but it is just things at the end of the day. Uh, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, you've had a lot of bad luck this year. Yeah, I have had a lot of bad luck this year. But in general, I'm a very fortunate and happy person. So don't worry about me, guys. I'm going to be absolutely fine. Uh, appreciate all the support. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.